Dear Santa, can I have an inform Lucatoni for Christmas, please? <laughs> Hello guys, and today I have an Inform Lucatoni review. He is my favourite player of all time, and I'm so, so happy he got an Inform on Christmas Day, which is like a Christmas present for, from EA to me, because he's, he's just my favourite player of all time. He's 6'4", with an amazing 37 pace, and he's got 87 heading. He cost me 75 grand, but he will go down to about 40 or 50k. He's got 4-star weak foot and 2-star uh, skill moves, which is pretty, pretty bad, but we will take a look at his in-game stats, and you will notice that the majority of them are red, but he has got a lot of green in there where he needs them. He's got 91 finishing, 94 heading out, Accuracy, 91 pens, 90 shot power, 92 volleys, 95 strength, and he got 86 positioning, 82 ball control, and 75 short pass, which is also pretty good. Uh, you'll see that he does have a lot of red on there, like 45 long shots, a 37 balance. His pace is just awful, 39 sprint speed and 35 acceleration. But we'll take a look at his shooting first. 91 finishing means that he will finish. One on ones, nine times out of ten, his finishing is awesome. His, his finesse shot's just really good in general, and he's got that shot power to back it up. Makes some good runs. Uh, he's got 86 position as well, so he seems to be in the right place at the right time to score. And he is a target man, guys, so he's going to be in the box scoring goals. He's not going to score many goals outside the box with that 45 long shots, is he? No, he's not. As you can see, uh, his dribbling is awful. Is is so bad, and he's only got two star skill moves as well. It's so slow to actually dribble with him, uh, trying to like shift it onto uh, his stronger foot can be troublesome. But he's got four star weak foot, so um, not too bad because you can actually take a decent shot with his left foot if you're finding it hard to get it onto his right foot. And as you can see, 95 strength, just bulldozing players over. But the thing is, he's so slow that players are always trying to get onto him, trying to like knock him off the ball, and he's only got 37 balance, which doesn't mean he's going to get knocked off the ball, but he's just going to be pushed around a bit. and. That 37 balance means he's not always in the correct like position or you know state to actually take a shot. Uh, as you can see here, trying to actually shift it onto his right foot, really really bad. Uh, he's got 82 ball control though, and that really does help out. He's got a great first touch, and you play the ball to his feet. Good first touch, and he's got 75 short pass, so he can play a neat pass uh, over the defense or through to the defensive line. And sometimes it leads to goals, sometimes it leads to good attacks. So that's another great thing about him uh, was his, his target man play. Another great little pass there, uh, and Rossini should really have scored here. But like I said, his dribbling is awful, but the best thing about him is his heading. It's the best thing I've ever seen on any FIFA. Oh, he's 6'4", he's 94 heading accuracy, 95 strength. Oh my god, his heading is amazing like you just cross the ball into him he's up there every time and a lot of time he's going to go in the back of the net one game he scored like four goals as headers for me uh i think he got 12 goals in seven games altogether which is a pretty good record for someone with 37 pace this clip epitomizes look tony good first touch there plays a ball knocks it down not enough pace to get onto the end of this ball but the ball does come back to him and a sublime header into the top corner it is it just sums him up completely guys and i really enjoy playing with him i was so happy he was this good we'll start off with his negatives then obviously his pace really really bad long shots are bad dribbling is awful and he's got two star weak foot uh, skill move sorry but the good things about him amazing heading very very strong Got decent passing as well with good ball control. His finishing is good in the box and he's got a really powerful shot as well. And he can take some penalties for you so he can get some goals that way as well. So I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10 rating overall. I gave him a high rating because of his good goal record. 12 goals in 7 games is pretty good. Obviously he's really, really slow and uh, his shooting outside the box isn't good. So he's a bit one dimensional. But he's good at what he's good at in terms of his finishing and his heading. You could fit him into a goal team because that's all he does is finish and head the ball. Just cross the ball to him. He's worth picking up. He'll probably drop to about 40k I'd, I'd imagine. And uh, I, I just love playing with him. I'm so happy he got an inform this year. And he's been playing awesome for uh, Verona this year. And they're doing really, really well. And uh, I appreciate if you left a like. Uh, we've been doing good on the like so far since I've been back. I did start my Italian job series back up. If you want to check out, check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I'll bring out episode three, I believe, later on today, and I'm hoping to get two episodes out a week. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on that series uh, off scene, if you get me. So uh, yeah, improvements to that series will be made uh, each episode, and I, I'm enjoying back at YouTube. So thanks for watching, guys. It's me, Luca Paz. Have a good day. Goodbye.